can you talk to me first about what it was that made you want to go and get cosmetic filler in your face? Well, I think... When you're I, clearly very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, I was seven, 16 or 17 when I first got filler. And 16, if it was, I think is actually illegal. Um, I think you have to be 17 legally. Um, but I, I went and got lip filler when I was around 16 and it didn't stop for a few years. I, I kept getting it and I kept getting it. And it became, around that time was when it had become very normalized. Filler was, it was literally like going to go into the gym. Like, I'm just going to go get a top up of my lip filler. It became so normalized, which is terrifying and so scary that these things are spoken about on social media, like these, these um, aesthetic pages, they're posting all these packages you can get with filler and it's, it became really normal. So I just, I went one day and I just got it and it was like nothing. And I didn't tell my mom, I just kept it from everyone. No one even really noticed. But I think on social media, as I said before, I was seeing all these girls um, with filler and with all these things done to our face, their faces. So I thought, well, if I want to be successful in that industry, if I want to be an influencer and I want to have a large following, I'm going to have to get that too. Like I'm going to need to do that to my face. I need jaw filler and cheek filler and lip filler and Botox to look the way these girls do. Um, when actually what I, when I realize now is all just editing, <laughs> none of them look mm. like that anyway, <laughs> but, um, it's scary because it, I, I wouldn't say I got addicted to it, but, uh, by the age of 21, I didn't look like the same person. I literally looked like a different person. It was, te- when I look back at pictures now, I'm, I'm terrified of myself. I'm like, who was that girl? I don't know what happened. And it was actually only until my sister said to me, she was like, we need to sort this out. It was, it took her to tell me. I was at um, a PA in, in a club. I don't remember where I was. And she texted me and she was like, I need to talk to you about the filler. Like it's too much now. Like it's, it's, it's enough. You need to stop. And then I actually sort of, I, I remember going on my front camera and I was looking, I was like, what's she talking about? And I actually realized, I was like, I don't, it's not nice. This it's, my face I literally everyone used to call me quagmire I don't even know who quagmire is I think it's like a cartoon character I don't know oh okay well people we'll would either quagmire say on the screen yeah quagmire <laughs> people used to say quagmire or they said I, I look like an xbox controller like my face was that warped like oh, I got all all kinds of things um but there was this one pivotal moment where I'd gone and I'd got loads of filler and I posted a youtube video um and I hadn't let the filler sort of settle and it was really swollen and a picture from a a screenshot from that video it trended on twitter for for weeks it was horrendous it was utterly horrendous it was like you can insert the picture we'll send it to you it was my face was literally like it was just awful and it, it was that was a moment for me as well where I was like I think I think things need to change I I thought one day I'm actually, I'm going to get my lips dissolved in it. And it, it was a process. I went and got my lips dissolved and I posted about it on YouTube and I didn't expect the response that I got. It was huge. And a lot of girls were tweeting saying, made me laugh and was like, Molly Mae getting lip filler does not mean that we will have, getting her lip filler dissolved, sorry, does not mean that we will have to go and do the same. Because obviously they all love their lip filler, which I think is great. Like some girls absolutely love it. And by me getting my filler dissolved did not mean that I, I don't agree with filler. I got it at one point. Like I, I obviously loved it. Mm. And some girls it makes them feel super confident. And it did for me for a while until I took it too far. I think Mm. it can be a great thing. It's not for me to sit here and bash it because some girls, they do feel amazing with it. And that's, that's great. But for me, um, the the minute I started to sort of reverse my image and dissolve the filler and dissolve my lips. And I actually had full set of composite um, bonding, like veneers on my teeth. I had them removed as well. I literally took it to the extremes and I just stripped myself back. And weirdly, I felt the prettiest I'd ever felt once it had all gone. And I, and I, I feel like I dropped about five years off my age. And it was like, it was a really, really significant moment for me. And I just stripping everything back. And I didn't realize how much respect that would get me. I didn't do it for respect. I did it for myself. I didn't do it for anyone else. I did it because I knew that I needed to. But from doing it, all these young girls were like, well, all these young girls' parents were emailing Fran and saying, thank you so much. Like, this is so amazing for us to see. It's so different. I actually had some, a mum come up to me when I was visiting Hitchin with my mum. She came up to me in the street crying her eyes out, saying that she was so grateful to me for doing what I did with my filler because she's so happy that like the effect it had on her children. And my mum started crying and it was all like emotions. My mum was, she, when the woman walked away, she was like, I'm so proud of you. And I just didn't realise like from me doing that, the effect it would have on so many people. Your manager, Fran, told me, she said, um, when you made that decision to remove the cosmetic filler and the the, the bonding from your teeth, um, she was getting so many emails, she couldn't keep up with her inbox from yeah. parents saying, expressing their admiration and gratitude because obviously previously um, those parents and their children had been looking up to certain role models who 
do do a lot of editing because of you know because of the comparison based world we live in mm. and to have a, a role model like yourself who is taking the very very brave and um i brave is maybe not the right word but just a very um important step to say that i'm going to be a role model that doesn't um tamper too much with my face because of the consequences and what that might tell my audience about yeah. themselves when you went on your transition when you went from being you know a little bit too much filler here maybe in bonded teeth and stuff like that yeah. to the au natural molly that you are now was there ever moments of doubt where you looked at yourself and thought you know what maybe i'll nip back and yeah well yeah i mean it didn't happen overnight i can't sit here and say like i suddenly just felt incredible like it was a huge change like my i literally i looked like a different person with all the filler in and a different person with it out and um there was a moment where I'd, I'd just done the cover for Cosmopolitan magazine and it was a really big deal to me. I was so I remember hugely it. happy that I'd landed the cover because um, I, it was a dream. It's huge. I, my mom used to buy me that magazine when I was younger and it was, it was I couldn't believe that I was going to be on the cover. But that was the first time I'd been pictured after I'd had all the filler removed. And I actually despised the picture so much that I just, I cried about it for days. Yeah, I because I didn't get approval of the image and I just thought I sort of prayed. I was like, I really hope I like the image and I I absolutely hated it. And it went it went out and it was fine and everyone was telling me how amazing I looked and, and it was kind of sad that after everyone sort of confirmed that they they thought I looked nice, then I felt better. That's mm. a bit sad because I think I didn't until I've until people sort of just started to say that. And I never really thought I was that girl. I always sort of thought I don't need people to tell me that I look nice. Like it but I think then I did because I was really vulnerable. Like I just had all this filler removed. No one had really seen me like that. I looked really different. I did. And I think people noticed it, but people really admired it because it was different. Mm. It was new. No one had no one had really done that yet. I, I wouldn't want to say that I started a trend, but I do feel like I did start a bit of a trend with the sort of dissolving. And I, again, I'm proud of that because, yeah, I might have been a bit uneasy about it at first, but now loads of people are doing it and I love it. It's like a, an amazing movement. And with the with the brands that you're involved in in the businesses you run, do you now seek out models and influencers and creators that are representing that more natural look as well? I wouldn't even say so because, as I said before, I don't think filler is a bad thing if it's done safely and it's done in a way that makes a girl feel more or a guy feel feel more confident. Then then that's great. Whatever makes that person feel amazing, that's what I like. And if mm. a model comes in and we like her and she's got a face full of filler, that's not a problem because another girl that's looking at that campaign also might have a face full of filler you know again it's I don't really judge people based on things like that I made a mistake with it once and but at one point I loved it and mm. it did make me feel confident so no I think we just like when we're like booking models for filter and things we just want to be relatable and we want to sort of have a girl modeling our the fake tan that that lots of girls can relate to that's why we use like always use multiple models in our campaigns and plus size and we we, we try and sort of cater to everybody if you love the Diary of a CEO brand and you watch this channel, please do me a huge favour, become part of the 15% of the viewers on this channel that have hit the subscribe button. It helps us tremendously and the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the guests.